It doesn't look like Muhammad Gaddafi planned on going anywhere. Six months after a rebellion against his father began, the Libyan leader's eldest son was moving his family from his old home next door into this. Tags are still on the furniture. Cream for the new leather sofas is waiting to be applied. You can look around here in this house. You need one week. You need a week. Neighbor Mohammed Arab, who in regular times runs a car rental company, shows us room after newly finished room. If you want to compare it, maybe you can compare it with other Gaddafi's son or other uh, who's, uh, VIPs here in Libya who's no. worse and responsible in the government, you know. You can't compare it with the normal Libyan people. A rebel fighter for the past three months, Arab points to signs that the leader's son knew he was not universally loved. There's a secret door in the bookcase. Mohammed Gaddafi's car is almost bulletproof. Try to, to open the door. And the doors are heavily fortified. Nothing happened to this door, you see? This bullet. Rebels surrounded the house a week ago and negotiated Mohammed Gaddafi's surrender. They say he asked for one hour before coming out, then seemed to change his mind, calling the Al Jazeera channel in apparent panic. I'm being attacked right now. This is gunfire inside my house. When he said for Al Jazeera, this bullets and shooting, it's in my house, it's in my house. And he started crying and said, Nashallah, ilallah, Muhammad Rasulullah. The shooting is not in his house. No, they just, they were outside, the rebels outside in the, outside the house, and they're celebrating that Muhammad will surround. Only then, Arab says, there was a firefight, and rebels broke into the compound and arrested the younger Gaddafi. Opposition authorities said to let family members stay in their home for the time being, and the local rebel group agreed. They can't take him and put him in prison or somewhere, lock them, you know. But they didn't want that, because the rebels, they feel that Muhammad, uh, neighbors, you know, for not 10 years or 20, more, more than 30 years he's our neighbor here. Mohammed Arab says guards were posted outside the compound, but then in one of the more embarrassing moments for the opposition, pro-Gaddafi forces overran their positions the next day and whisked Mohammed Gaddafi and his family to safety, now apparently in Algeria. Arab has no regrets. He's just glad Tripoli is under rebel control. As for the House, Arab and his fellow fighters say they don't want it, and it's up to the new government to figure out what to do with it. We don't need houses. We don't need money. We need just our freedom. Elizabeth Arrett, VOA News, Tripoli.